work here. So a lot of times in guard, people are pinning your arms down to the mat. Yeah. So Eli's doing it the right way. A lot of people will go right at your biceps. Yeah. And they'll pin your arms down like this. This is a prime opportunity to get a nasty wrist lock. So when I feel his pinky in like the crease of my elbow, I want to trap it there. So I'm just going to fold my arm and I'm going to trap his pinky in there. So I'm pinching with my bicep on his hand and I'm also pinching my lat in tight. And then I can grip my hands like this. Once I do this, all I got to do to finish this wrist lock is lift my elbow towards the ceiling, kind of like I'm doing a sideways print. <laughs> so I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. So I just want to lift my elbow up like this. I've got his hand trapped in there. This works great in the gi because the gi adds a lot of friction. It's hard for him to, if I'm really pinching everything tight, it's hard for him to pull his hand up. Once my elbow's up in the air, I'm just going to do a crunch like I'm trying to bring my elbow to Eli's stomach. And this, what this does is it puts the wrist in this position and then I'm starting to fold it this way, which will cause it to break really quick. So again, he can, he can just have one on there, maybe. Pin in my arm. I just want to clasp my hands together, pinch that hand tight in there, rotate that elbow towards the ceiling, and then start to, start to do a crunch with my abs towards Eli while I pinch all of this in tight. Comes on really quick, so be ready to tap if somebody gets this on you. And don't pin people's arms like this. If, I mean, a lot of people don't know this, so you're safe, but if somebody knows this, it's a really quick, easy tap. I've gotten this several times in tournaments, and here, uh, I think I caught Andrew Smith with it one time, so I put that on my resume. <laughs> <laughs>